A heartbreaking story from New York is calling much needed attention to the mental health of our health care workers. It's certainly not been easy for most of them. And as CBS 4's Francis Wang reports, difficult times will likely be here for a while. Sunday, she uh, took her own life because I think she was tired. Dr. Philip Breen describes his late daughter, Dr. Lorna Breen, as someone who put her life on the line to take care of others. Even after contracting COVID-19, the Manhattan ER doctor went back to help her colleagues just over a week later. She was like the fireman who runs into the burning building to save another life and doesn't regard anything about herself. It's clear that a lot of physicians believe that everybody else comes first. While these are unprecedented times for all, Dr. Philip Harvey, director of the psychology division at the University of Miami, says it's especially difficult for healthcare workers. Hopelessness is a big predictor of suicidal behavior. And when you've got no idea when the crisis is going to end, I mean, it really is a, a, a constellation of factors that contribute to, uh, to, to increased risk for self injury, suicidal behavior. All around the world, we've been seeing people thank healthcare workers, whether it's from their balconies or on social media. Many are also trying to feed those who are working around the clock, going weeks without a day off absolutely critical to feel like you're appreciated. And I think one of the reasons that frustration is common among physicians in other circumstances is they feel as though they're not appreciated. Still, Dr. Harvey says despite what everyone is doing for healthcare workers, taking time for themselves is necessary. Feeling that like everything's out of control and there's no hope is risky. Uh, you want to be able to take as, as much time as you can for yourself. At Mount Sinai Hospital in New York, these recharge rooms with relaxing sights, sounds, and smells are already making a difference. Fire is a very nostalgic thing, and then it brings you back to a time that was carefree and life was easy, you know? So just to have a moment like that. I think it was like really nice. I haven't been sleeping well, so it was such a calming thing for me. And Dr. Harvey points out that it's really important to remember, even when some of the stresses come down, when some of that burden is lifted for these healthcare workers to not just remember the bad, but the good that they've done for people and especially important for us to continue making them feel appreciated. Live from my home studio tonight, I'm Francis Wang, CBS 4 News Tonight.